This session we take a look at some of the additional benefits that we have when we have the color factory in our arsenal for a workflow in Corel Draw and specifically for apparel designers and decorators and dealing with client supplied artwork. Because you know the clients bring in their sketches, they bring in their photographs, they bring in different things. And being able to get through those, we call that production artwork, getting through those things quickly, getting it on press. For some projects, the color factory is perfect for that. Yes, we can create incredible designs, as we can see here. And as we scroll along, we can see some of the different artwork that we're able to create very easily working with the monochrome and yet just a few colors. But very often we'll see that a client will bring in something like a client artwork, a pencil sketch. Well, you can take that pencil sketch, convert it to a monochrome instantly, and then show it to the client based on different color shirts and different color looks with the monochrome. And really give them the ability to make a selection, also maybe do upselling from a white shirt to a color shirt and different looks and do that all very quickly and very easily. This is an RGB bitmap that could be a typical sketch supplied by an artist client that they want to put on a t-shirt. Instead of doing all the work manually, you can just take the file that the client has supplied, go to the color factory, and just simply click on create monochrome. And it'll process that and there's your monochrome. You're ready to go. And I'll delete these and you could sit with your client having done that instantly. And we'll bring this down here and we'll go up here and make the background transparent with a left click. Resize that on the shirt. Set that up and you can put that on the shirt and you can really demonstrate to the client your capabilities to work with their graphic file and different colored shirts and different colors for the monochrome. So you can really impress your clients and at the same time get this work done very quickly. If I go to my color docker, which is right here, change that to outline, click off, click on, make sure I'm on outline, left click hold down, I can go through and just show that client all the different things I can do with the color of their sketch art. And what I can do with the color on different colored shirts. For example, on this teal kind of shirt. I could bring this up into the blues and then go into the outline and show them that. Show them how to get like a kind of faded out fashion look in there if they want. And really give them a set of options to work with as to how they'd like to have their art printed. And you can send them a number of different looks of their art and let them choose. And as I said, perhaps do some upselling into a colored garment. Here we are in a yellow and we can come down into the oranges and up into the browns and see what that looks like. So you can see how easily and quickly we can work with these files. Now that we have the functionality of the monochromes and working with them through the color factory. Here I have just some samples of files that might be client supplied artwork. One for a school, maybe another piece of children's art or something. Here's a truck from a trucking company. You know, I want to have my truck printed. Well, I don't want to print it as all these different colors. You can take the truck and very easily go to the color factory. And then we've got training on all the different features here. But you can go to the duotone with color and process that. And that'll run. And then we'll have the duotone with color for the truck. We always make a duplicate so that we've got the different there's the black and white and there's the color and it looks almost identical to the truck except you know some of the highlighting but you can change this red let's say we go to the transparency we change that from normal to add and you can see that looks a lot better by changing that and you can play with the blend modes and see how they work and you'll get a feel for them and you can do some pretty good stuff with them and that brightens it up a little bit also so you'd have that ready. Control Z, I want to select everything there. You'd have that ready to go to press as a two color. Just grab your text, bring it down, 
that production artwork job is done in minutes. A graphic like this you might get, and you'd look at it and you say, well, it's got this color in here, so I'll take that, and I would go Effects, Adjust, and I would just desaturate that. And then I would just go to Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. And there's a very complete Tone Curve tutorial on AdvancedTeachers.com where you can learn all about how the Tone Curve works. I'll come over here in what I think is probably the darker area over there. So left click, bring this up. Maybe darken some of this up a little bit. Just like that. Select OK. Take that. And then just create a monochrome from it. Let that go. Now that's ready for work, and we can left click and give that a transparent background. If it's going on a t shirt, I can just bring it down. I'll just take my monochrome and I'll just left click, hold down, right click one time, duplicate that on top of the t shirt, resize that, and get this to the size that I want for the print. And this artwork would be ready to go into printing done very quickly and very easily and the same thing with the truck and I'll bring this over here and I'll duplicate that and I can delete that and I could take the truck just right click one time while I'm dragging that bring it over and I'll see I didn't get everything I got just a red I'll hit control Z I got a lasso everything here to push that up start here go right across get everything bring this over right click one time duplicate on top of the shirt and that would be ready go out into production quick and easy same thing with this elementary school design here I'll go with the do a tone with color because we have the color in the outline around the chalkboard just process that and you know we get these types of projects pretty frequently when we're working in the screen printing industry and I've got that there so I'll just left click grab all of that and um, I get that Westville text. I really don't want to get that. So I'm going to hit Control Z. Sometimes I select things I don't, but I'll hold down Shift. And when I click on that, that'll deselect that. And then I can move all of this. Now, this is two objects. The front is the red color, but it's pretty much ready to go. Now, if I want to bring that down into a little bit more of a tone of the brown, like the image, and we'll zoom in, we can see that there's some difference there. I'm only set to red so I can start to match that just by left click hold down making sure I'm on outline here click on that's on the outline and bring that into more of a brown I went way too far that time come back up into the red or the brown and dial that color in to very close to what's in the original as you can see there and then now this would be ready to go into print production so we can do amazing designs, but we can also do very fast production work. I can bring this text, hold down shift, hold down shift, select both these. All I'm doing is lassoing, holding down shift, bring this down, then resize it for the shirt. Zoom in, pushing forward on my center mouse wheel. And this is now ready for production once I get it all lined up. So you can very easily go through production artwork scenarios that we see frequently in our apparel businesses and set these things up very easily and very quickly working with the color factory and at the same time we can use it to do all kinds of different really nice designs. So this plugin really covers a number of different things that we have needs for in screen printing. Higher end designs with less colors as well as expediting our production artwork based on what clients are giving us for artwork. When we put all of that together, this is really a piece of software in my opinion that you really want to have to work with. I mean, I love working with it from a design standpoint, but also from a production standpoint, I can get so many things done so much faster, so much more easily working with a limited number of colors if we're going with those four and six color presses or direct garment set or what have you. It really covers a whole wide spectrum of different scenarios from graphic design to production work. So that's some of the ways I would handle some of the production artwork for clients based on client supplied artwork with the Color Factory. We'll wrap here and we'll see you 
in our next session.